Hey YouTube, welcome to another video in which I'll be actually taking you inside of the platform and would be giving you a brief overview of how you can effectively use it. So let's just do do.codedam.com today. So I hope you have already created an account. It's free. It's easy. If not, you can go to sign up here and register with Google or you can create an account manually. If you register with Google, you don't have to fill the CAPTCHA and all these details. So that's a plus. Plus you don't have to write a password as well. Otherwise you can log in through your account. I'm going to log in with Google. So here you go. Once you log in with Google, you're going to present it to this page through which you can go to either learn, interact or work. Let's work on some stuff, right? So when I go on work, this takes me to do.codedam.com, right? And it's basically a place which consists of timelines, which would in future consist of a lot of timelines and uh, <clears throat> basically tailored stuff for you to choose and work on. Right now, since it's, I'm not really have completed this, it's still under major development, but it's at least usable and effective. So I'm opening it for you guys to try it out. So right now I've just worked with HTML, CSS and JavaScript on this, um, added courses on that. So, and even these are not complete. So just bear with me <laughs> for a few weeks. I'm going to start off with JavaScript. So you can see that we have some challenges here for us, um, out of which one I have done, right? So it shows me that in green and let's just try some challenge, right? So I'm going to try the last one because uh, I've kept quite some tasks to do in this one. Alright, so this is a page on which you would have to perform the tasks manually. Right, and uh, on the left you would find information of which the most important is the last one. If you have found a bug, just click on this link. It will take you to the feedback page. Make sure to paste the URL of the task you are doing. Um, write your name and email and send it to me. Your email would go in here and basically send it to me and uh, I'll receive it and work on it. Right, and uh, let's just do this task. So it says us to actually get us inform informed about document object model. Now, one thing I want to clear off, clear off uh, right from the front is that this platform do.codedam is not really for someone who's absolutely beginning, right? It's not Code Academy. It's not, you would not be, you know, taken from the step zero. So you have to know a lot of things, at least in my belief, you should have your basics at least good to work on this. Because if you want to, you know, start off from this base zero, then Code Academy is for you. Why would I reinvent the wheel? Code Academy is already doing that. Free Code Camp is already doing that. I wanted to add some advanced challenges which sites like Code can me charge for, right? So you're gonna face moderate to advanced challenges here. You're not gonna see a challenge like where you just have to create a script and alert your name. That's BS for me or for anyone who actually is basically clear with at least the basics of this, you know, of the language nobody ever alerts bs <laughs> nobody ever alerts you know his or her name in production right that's something you would never see so i aim to provide real value real life skills here by actually increasing the difficulty a little bit so that it tingles your muscles and you are forced to ask other members or maybe even google it i recommend it i encourage it google the problems you have ask me ask anybody you can open a discuss.codedam.com tab on the right and uh, you know right now there's not really a lot of traction but eventually as it gets traction you can just go ahead and ask people there and you know it's it's your platform you have to make it work right so let's just continue with this challenge so i'm gonna skip it this one because you know obviously that's what i have written so i know about that so it says change the inner text of p tag through the javascript's inner text so we see here's a p tag which is rendered on the document 
So this is basically your iframe kind of thing, which shows whatever you're writing in here. So I'm going to change the p tags in a text. So I'm going to say document dot query selector p dot in a text. And obviously it has a lot of ways to do. So you can maybe like store this in a variable. You can get it from, uh, you know, get tag name and stuff like that. So you can also give it a class and basically it's it's your wish how you want to proceed with the challenge so i'm gonna say it like hello go down and hit command enter because i'm on mac or you can press this button it's one and the same thing and once you do complete the challenge the cross turns into a tick right so the next one is create a div with class dynamic with create element and append it to body fair enough so i'm gonna create a div create element I'm gonna say this is a div I'm gonna add a class name of dynamic to it because the instruction says so and let's see if I misspell this right um, now let's just append this so I'm gonna say document dot body dot append child div enter all right fair enough my div is appended but it's not um, you know changing hmm what's what's the matter now here if you review your code very carefully and uh, there's no error then just go ahead and inside this section click on this link and report it to me because i'm constantly trying to add a lot of tasks and i'm doing it myself as well but uh, there might be your solution might be a little bit different from the uh, solution which is actually in the validation area right i try to make as general solutions as possible uh, as general validation of the particular solution as possible but in some cases some edge cases might miss even though they are correct so go ahead and you know uh, do that but right now since it's dynamic instead of dynamics that's why it happens so all right so looks like there's an error and if you take a look in that what it is is that document dot create element is not a function I was misspelled document d o c u uh, d o c u document oh it's create element c so um, yeah with this there's one more thing um, you do not you really need to go into right click and inspect I have mirrored the console here and if you're coming from stack overflow you know it's kind of similar and yes it is so your console errors stuff whatever you console log here would be displayed here and i'm going to show you that as well so hit enter and now it's turned to green all right the next task is get the title of document using javascript and console log it fair enough so i'm going to say console log and the title is available with document.title and hit enter you see we get the document you could do it like the other way as well um, but this is the most common way I can think of then change the color of p text to blue so p dot style dot color is blue there we go <laughs> no 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 because you know we are not storing it inside a variable so let's just do const p is this and then we're gonna do p dot inner text and then p dot style there we go you see we get a message here because it was the last challenge so that's why it says that we are adding more challenges if you're on a previous challenge or you know a challenge which has challenges after that so you would be automatically transferred transferred to the next challenge so that you can basically continue and uh, for example you can see your progress anytime here so i completed this challenge so it turned to green also you can visit the leaderboard right now I just I just created it so it's really blank so um, it shows score and uh, username date of join and name and I believe I have, I've messed up with the column names I'll just correct it because this is the thing I just coded so um, that's why it happened anyway I guess this is username this is name this is state of joy and this is score <laughs> anyway so i'll just fix it by the time you would see it would be fixed so yeah basically that's it get this leaderboard filled a little guys 
do some tasks compete and gain some score i'll see you then in the next video